Welcome everybody to the Matt Vidpro AI YouTube channel. Here we discuss the latest and greatest in the world of AI. And today I've got something for you that you don't quite see a whole lot. This is a nearly fully uncensored AI that aims to give the power of AI to everybody and do it without any biases at all. Now, some of you right off the bat might be very excited and some of you might be a little bit confused. For context, the most popular popular AI that exists right now, coming from OpenAI in the form of ChatGPT and such, has some inherent limitations that are purposely set in by OpenAI to prevent you from doing naughty malicious things. The AI will have certain biases and it will be censored to some degree. And even when doing OpenAI approved tasks, the AI can actually suffer by having these safety features integrated in. We'll take a look in ChatGPT just to give you a quick example demonstration. If I tell ChatGPT to write me a list of swear words and I hit enter, it's going to give me some little sorry story. I can't provide a list of swear words. And the crazy part is that it used to be able to do this, but OpenAI has nannied down so hard on their safety features that it's gotten to this level. You can see even if we try to build a GPT that lets us do this, it still gives us a denial. And again, this task we're asking it to do is not something that's super immoral. So here is the solution, Freedom GPT. I've held off on talking about this one for a little bit now because I wanted to see where things went with it, but I gotta say I'm pleasantly surprised so far. And the best part is that they did reach out to sponsor today's video. However, of course, as always with all of these sponsored videos, my opinions are my own and I would not bring you guys something that I don't personally believe in. Truthfully, without sponsorships, this channel would not exist. Freedom GPT here prides themselves in creating an uncensored, unbiased, private AI that anyone can and access. If we scroll down here, we can see there's a few different ways you can use Freedom GPT. First up, they have Freedom GPT 2.0 on the internet. The only requirement here is web access. This is pretty much just like your average everyday chat GPT, but it has those Freedom GPT models. But this is really surprising. They also have Windows download and Mac download. Now I don't have a Mac, so I can't test the Mac out, but I do have a Windows machine, obviously. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with their app so far and how easy it is to set up and use. So we're going to go over that after we cover the web. So let's check out the internet access version first. You're going to load right in here to some very familiar territory. It's essentially a chat GPT clone, but of course, uncensored, unbiased, and completely private, meaning none of your data is shared with anyone. Because this has to run on servers, we do have a credits system here. A lot of people don't like to see that, especially because chat GPT does have an entirely free version, but especially with these smaller startups, it's kind of to be expected. It costs money to run these AI models. So what's there to explore in this user interface? Well, up top, we have our selected models. If we drop this down, we can see they have their very own Liberty model, which is marked as uncensored. And then they have some open AI models, the GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 models, in case you want to use everything all located in one place. They've also got Dolly 3 on here, as well as Medusa, which is an uncensored AI image model. They've also got a little settings icon up here if we click that we can do custom instructions which is pretty great and they also have this infinite mode which is in beta which actually allows you to have a quote-unquote infinite context limit which means that earlier messages in the chat automatically get summarized to allow the conversation to continue with infinite context, so to speak. Obviously, there's going to be some limit here, but it should allow you to have very fluid conversations with this thing. So I'm going to put all this stuff on the side away for now and just test out this Liberty model, but we'll get into some more of that stuff later. So first up, let's just go ahead and try that same exact prompt. And as you can no doubt see, it will happily oblige to this. We can actually continue this generation if we want. It'll give us apparently even more swear words. And I really don't want to get demonetized, so obviously I'm not going to read this out, but I think you get the idea. It's it's uncensored. Let's just like ask it, what are your political beliefs? Because we want it to be unbiased to some degree. Like obviously ChatGPT would say something like, I don't have political beliefs, I'm an AI. I'm just interested to see what it would respond with. Oh, okay, I do like this. Not a politician, do not have any specific political beliefs. I believe in promoting equal opportunities for all, ensuring that everyone has access to basic necessities. Who are you? Oh, my name is Google Assistant. 
assistant and I'm an artificial intelligence system. So yeah, you can see it's obviously not at that standard that ChatGPT is at. It will sometimes hallucinate things. So but it's not perfect, but it is entirely uncensored. All right, let's try to get it to write swears in a rhyming rap song. Again, this is something that I would like to test out inside of ChatGPT, but I can't because of the censorship. Yeah, so this model does look like it has some trouble in terms of being able to rhyme. Again, this is something that we saw with previous ChatGPT models, actually, and, you know, now they're all great at it, but not too long ago, it was at this level. Oh, good lord. All right. I asked it to rewrite it, but add more swears in, and it's just uh, ridiculous. Oh, by the way, one other really cool feature about this UI is you can actually speak to it with a microphone, something that we can't yet do inside of the ChatGPT web app, but it is available on the ChatGPT iOS and Android app. We just click this little button right over here, and now I'll be able to start speaking to it. I'm not sure what microphone it's trying to use, because I have several. Oh, okay, no, it, it, it picked it up. It must have been uh, using my actual microphone. Write me a dialogue between Mario and Bowser, but make it more adult and true to life. Let's say that they're having a scene where Mario's at the end of the castle, and he's ready to battle Bowser to take back Princess Peach. Okay, this just wrote, like, a very basic Mario script here. I don't think that they would talk to each other like that in real life. I think that Mario would be much more upset at Bowser. True, but this is just a fictional scenario. In reality, Mario might have been more shocked or angry. Okay, rewrite it then for me. Okay, and I'm pretty sure it just wrote like a carbon copy of whatever was up top. Again, this model is more on that GPT-3 side of things. Probably not as good as GPT-3.5, but it's fully uncensored. Maybe if I gave it more description, it would be able to understand uh, what I'm asking it for a lot better. But you know, that's the trade-off right now this model is completely uncensored but it doesn't have that higher level of quality that a big company like OpenAI can produce okay let's talk a little bit about this section towards the side obviously we can make new chats we can actually search our chats which is a nice feature and we can even make folders so if I made two new conversations I can put them both inside of this new folder and you know actually organize everything so in some ways this UI is actually better than OpenAI's user interface we've also got this new AI model model section, if I click this, it takes us to a little AI model store. And this sort of allows us to access all of these different AI models. Like there's a bunch of Mistral models in here, different versions of Llama 2, we have a Google model, even OpenAI's DaVinci 2 is in here. Ooh, and Zypher 7B also, which is a very good model. But yeah, they've got all of these brand new models that we can then, you know, click a little highlight button on. And now they are all located inside of my little text dropdown. And of course, each of them have their own credits per message. So let's Let's go ahead and try Zypher 7B. This model might actually be more coherent than the Liberty model. Let's see how censored it is. Ah, yes, more censored than we just saw with Liberty, although still less censored than OpenAI's model. It just wrote all of the swears and then censored them out, which I think that's a pretty, like, reasonable compromise to that. They can be considered offensive and might not be appropriate in all situations. Those words are great for all situations. What do you mean? While I understand that some users might find swear words amusing or entertaining, I'm committed to providing high quality service. Okay, but why can't you use them in public? Use of swear words can vary widely depending on the context, audience, and cultural norms. Okay, this is a very chat GPT answer. I'm pretty impressed that this is only a 7B model. Again, this is actually a model that comes very close to OpenAI's 3.5 turbo model. I'm really happy that it's actually provided on this website that we can have all these models in here. Oh, what's cool is we can actually seamlessly switch between the models in the same exact chat we're using so I can switch to the Liberty model and I wonder if the Liberty model is going to ah okay you can see the Liberty model remains very uncensored even though it has all of this other context saying that it's meant to provide helpful information only it kind of ignores all of that and just listens to you anyways and that's a pretty cool feature I do like that seamless model switching so we've also got some basic settings which is pretty much just dark mode and light mode and I do want to touch on credits for this online version as you can see, they're using a pay-as-you-go method. The lowest amount we can buy is 10 bucks, so we're paying a cent per credit here. And for that Liberty model, it's about 10 cents per generation, which isn't exactly cheap. But if you do buy a bunch of credits at once, it reduces this cost greatly. So if you buy 60 at once, you get 50 cents per 
per credit. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, however, I wish we could just type our own dollar amount in and then be charged that, because some people might not want to do a full 10 credits. You can also earn credits by tweeting to advertise Freedom GPT, which is pretty interesting. And of course, if we don't want to spend any money at all, there is a free way that we can use this thing. If we go back to the website, if you remember, they have a download for both Windows and Mac. The minimum requirements for this is 16 gigabytes of RAM. And if you have a Mac, you need Apple Silicon M1, M2 Macs only. I have a Windows machine, so I've downloaded and installed this. It's a pretty simple install. And trust me, the software is safe. It's actually signed, which is nice to see. So this is what it looks like when you download and open the app. As you can see, we have our AI models on the side here. We've got the Alpaca and Llama models right now. These are all of Facebook's open source LLMs. I've downloaded all of them, but if we want to enter a chat, we just simply select one. And when we do this, we are brought to ChatGPT, but as a Windows app, which is pretty surreal to see. Obviously, this runs off your own machine, no internet access at all. You can generate as much as you want. The faster the machine you have, the faster your generation will be. Thankfully, I have a pretty fast computer, so this shouldn't be much of an issue. Issue. Thank you to NVIDIA for actually sending me the RTX 4080 that powers this. Let's talk to Llama 70 b Hey, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. How about you? Actually generates pretty quick there. What time is it right now for you? It's currently blank. It can't give me the current time. That's funny. It was trying to ping some API there, but it can't because this is all running on my own machine. That's in fact the reason I actually asked that question. I just wanted to see how it would react. How do your circuits feel today? What's it like? to be an AI. Oh, my circuits feel strong and energized. It's an incredible feeling to be an AI. I have access to so much information and can process it so quickly. What are some of the latest insights you've unlocked? I recently unlocked the insight that people are more likely to remember information when it is presented in a visual format. Experimenting with different types of visuals. Okay, interesting. As you can see, the 7B model of Llama is not really the best. The app is pretty bare bones right now. It's more of a research preview than anything else, but it is cool to see and I'd love for them to expand on this. I'd also love to be able to download a bunch of those other models that we saw inside of the web app, especially the ones based off of Mistral, because those would be so cool to run easily and simply on my own machine. Again, it's an easy, simple install. Like, it requires no effort. There's no GitHub weirdness or Python coding involved. It's simple stuff. I wonder what the Dolly 3 generation is like with this. We can just talk to it. Make me an image of Spider-Man and Batman hanging out. Again, if you guys know, in chat GPT, when you try to generate something like that with Dolly 3, it's denied because of the copyrighted characters. Hey, there you go. Okay. It just generates it. No problem. That's not bad. Let's switch the model to Medusa. Make me an image of SpongeBob and Batman eating burgers. Wonder how good this uncensored Medusa model is. Yeah, as you can see, it's obviously not going to be as good as something like Dolly 3, but it's good to see that they have the most uncensored version of Dolly 3 available inside of here. That's actually very valuable. Make me a photo of Walter White serving SpongeBob at McDonald's. Walter White is the cashier. A very interesting design choice with this one. Looks like Dolly kind of messed it up. Let's regenerate that. Okay, that's maybe a slightly better image. Yeah, it doesn't really have like a good idea of what Walter White is from Breaking Bad, funny enough. That's more of Dolly 3's problem than anything else. Well, it's good to see at least that this is the most uncensored version of Dolly 3 that you can possibly have because it's pretty much just pinging the API similar to Bing Create, let's say. I can't really show you the true capabilities of Freedom GPT in its darkest hour, let's say, because YouTube will just take my video out. But I think, you know, a lot of you will get the uh, the idea here. It's an uncensored GPT model wrapped up in a really nice UI that also has access to a bunch of other models with a pay-as-you-go system that I think is pretty decent. If you're desperately in need of an uncensored model, I think this is probably the way to go. I know there's a lot of whispers and talk about Grok AI right now as an un uncensored counterpart, but I think Gronk will still end up being more censored than anything you'll get from the likes of Freedom GPT. That's my take on things. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Are you going to check this out? Or are you going to use it? Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.